Today we are talking about Palantir's newest catalyst. At the exclusive AIPCon event hosted by Palantir Technologies, Chief Executive Officer Alex Karp outlined the company's strategies for applying wartime lessons to enhance business and productivity. Karp underscored the ongoing collaboration with the United States government, highlighting a recently disclosed five-year, $480 million contract with the United States Department of Defense. This contract, part of Project Maven, aims to develop a smart system that provides warfighters and intelligence intelligence analysts with rapid and precise information on the battlefield, including tasks such as identifying enemy targets. Hundreds gathered on Thursday to participate in the event, which showcased Palantir's artificial intelligence platform. Over 70 customers were scheduled to discuss their integration and use of Palantir's artificial intelligence tools in their businesses. Palantir engineers collaborated directly with customers, exploring potential innovations with the software. Notable companies such as United Airlines, Lear, and Wendy's participated in the event. The Denver-based software company has hosted more than 1,300 of these conferences across the United States and internationally. These events have significantly boosted Palantir's United States commercial revenue, which increased 40% year over year in the first quarter, reaching $150 million. John Curris, President and Chief Executive Officer of Florida Health Sciences Center, which includes Tampa General Hospital, attended the conference, following his hospital's recent deal with Palantir to utilize its artificial intelligence software. The hospital plans to implement Palantir's artificial intelligence plan platform to create a new care coordination operating system aimed at enhancing decision making regarding bed placements and staffing allocation while improving clinical outcomes for patients. Palantir has made significant strides with commercial clients, though it initially gained recognition for its work with the United States government and intelligence community, including the Central Intelligence Agency. Founded in 2004 by billionaire Peter Thiel and 8 VC managing partner Joe Lonsdale, the company's name is derived from a magical crystal ball described in J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. Palantir's engineers developed software that enables customers to import vast amounts of data, from images to spreadsheets, into a central system for secure analysis and interpretation using maps and charts. We're making it possible through our software to allow other software and hardware companies to work off of our platform, Karp said regarding the company's work with the United States government. So this is not just a win for Palantir, this is a win, quite frankly, for the tech ecosystem that powers this nation. While Palantir is renowned for its software sales to the United States government and its allies, the company's growing traction in the enterprise sector has impressed investors and financial analysts on Wall Street. Jeffrey's analyst, Brent Thill, expressed optimism about improvements in Palantir's fundamentals and business, particularly the strength of its artificial intelligence segment. Phil even said the following, I think these mini boot camps they are doing are getting them more at bats meaning they are now getting more customer engagements as they do these smaller software installs, and that translates into higher deal velocity for the company. Phil currently maintains a hold recommendation on the stock, citing valuation concerns. It is one of the most expensive names we cover, he noted. Many believe that artificial intelligence represents a historic shift for the tech sector and the broader economy, marking a new megatrend that will transform business and economic development. For instance, NVIDIA Chief Executive Officer Jensen Huang recently stated that the next industrial revolution has begun. Carp is evidently confident in his company's role and leadership in this pivotal artificial intelligence era. Come talk to our 70 customers, he said, referring to those presenting at the conference. Ultimately, Palantir appears well positioned to continue delivering strong results. However, any missteps could negatively impact their share price. Essentially, Palantir Technologies highlighted its strategies for leveraging wartime lessons and artificial intelligence to drive business growth, securing a significant contract with the United States Department of Defense. Events. The event featured numerous customers discussing their successful integration of Palantir's tools, significantly boosting the company's commercial revenue. Notable partnerships, such as with Florida Health Sciences Center, demonstrate Palantir's expanding influence in various sectors. While the company's enterprise growth is attracting investor interest, valuation concerns remain. Overall, Palantir is well positioned for continued success in the evolving tech landscape. With that being said, I wish you the best of luck, happy investing, and I will see you in the next video.